Hey, g'day my friends. So I've got a top coat of the Fokker Wolf done. So it's starting to look pretty good now. So you can have a quick look here. So I've gone with the three different colors, uh, 74, 75 and 76 RLM. But I sort of greened up the uh, 74, I think it is a bit. Cause I like that greenish look. And then underneath we've got so we've got the grey violet pretty much all the way to the base. That's really nice grey too. Um, it, it does have a violety hue to it. And we've got the rear with the uh, gelb. So we've used this one here, gelb, which is RLM4. It's very bright yellow. And then underneath we've got the Pale blue RLM 76. So she's starting to look pretty good. Uh, actually, pretty happy with how the paint job has come up. So, this is basically all I'm going to be doing with the spray gun. So, the acrylic lacquer work's done, and now I'm going to start to um, do some brush work with just some normal Valero. Um, model colour. Start getting that you know, tightened up, painted these black, also painted the wheels black. Start getting some of the details, but yeah just sort of getting it ready for its decals because you have to have this black here because there's another decal that goes along the back of it here to make the, the black part extend out. So yeah, but I'm actually really happy with how it's come up so far. So I've used these colours here, so the this is the grey violet, so this stuff here. Um, I used SMS's version, RLM75. Really nice, really nice, it really glows, comes out good. Um, I, I created colour variation with medium sea grey and white. Every one of the every one of the colours got white. And it had a white base. And then we've got the RLM 74. So there's a SMS version, a Mr. Color version. The Mr. Color version has a little bit more of a green tinge than the um, SMS version. But this one's a lot darker. So you, I actually used them all to get the color variation, but I brought more of the green out with RLM 62 run it's a really nice green it's really authentic uh, sort of german and you don't need to put much just enough to sort of green it up a bit and highlight and then with the base i went with light blue so rlm 76 and i highlighted it with a russian color dark blue gray it's sort of a modern russian airplane sort of look it's got a bit more blue in it than than this one, and it does, it brings out a uh, different variation in the color, which is really cool. So looking forward to getting it the next stage done. So we're pretty much ready to put some decals on. Pretty basic camouflage scheme, nothing too difficult. Of course, you can open these ones, these hoods here, which I will once it's finished coming along very well actually really happy with how it's coming up so I'll speak to you again soon um, now I'm just going to start to put on all this decals here so the stuff that goes on all the airplanes quite a fair bit there to put on and then we'll start putting on the uh, personalized decals see how this thing comes up hopefully it comes up all right but so far so good so not bad work there border not bad work all right speak to you again soon